Hello and welcome to the history of Stargate Universe. Today's episode will be covering the Nakai. And here we go. The Nakai are the first space-capable race encountered by the Destiny Expedition in one of the galaxies they visited. They first encountered the Tauri in 2009. Their average height seems to be comparable to humans. They are bipedal, like humans, but with a digigrade locomotion. They also appear to have fish-like barbs on either sides of their heads. Beneath their eyes, their index digits on their hands also appear to be longer than the others with claw-like features. Their eyes seem to glow or reflect large amounts of light. Physically, they appear to be somewhat weaker than humans, as Dr. Nicholas Rush was able to overpower and strangle one without much effort. They communicate with each other with clicks and screeches, but it appears their vocal cords are either weak or non-existent, as Young was unable to speak to Rush with any kind of tonal language when he was in his Nakai host. Based on their appearance and the ubiquity of the water on their vessel, they may be aquatic, or at least an amphibious species. The atmosphere on their ship is comfortable for humans, so they are clearly capable of breathing oxygen. The Nakai possess spacecraft, including fighters and intergalactic motherships. They also possess technology that allows them to probe the minds of others. The device allows them to quickly learn basic information and understand the language of the probed being. It is likely they learned some English from Dr. Nicholas Rush, allowing them to transmit messages in English, though they are apparently unable to speak it themselves. They have also managed to collect some ancient technology, as when Rush reads the mind of one of the creatures, he observes it handling a long-range communication stone. Colonel Everett Young suspects that Rush stole this stone from the communication device box when he first found it, and the aliens confiscated it from him upon his capture. Rush neither confirms nor denies this. Nakai motherships use a form of intergalactic hyperdrive apparently extremely different to that used by other species or cultures. It is thought that these vessels are slower than using FTL engines or Asgard hyperdrives, taking three weeks to reach a point between two galaxies visited by destiny. Background Information Before the Nakai name was revealed, viewers referred to them as Blueberry Aliens. According to Joseph Malauzi's blog, the Nakai had been aware of Destiny for some time, though it was not likely they knew of the ship's mission. However, they would have been impressed by its offensive and defensive capabilities. He suggested that they encountered Destiny during one of its refueling stops and attempted to communicate, but after receiving no response, they decided to scan the ship. As time went on, their interest led them to determine that the ship was unmanned and they attempted to board Destiny, but were repelled by the ship's automated defenses. When asked on the species' real name, Malauzi refers to them as the Nakai. Translated from Japanese to English, it means waitress. It also translates from a group of Native American languages, meaning from Mexico. Hey, thank you for watching the history of Stargate. Special thanks to the Stargate Wiki for all information you heard today. Very special thanks to Royalty Free Tube for this fantastic background. Have a great day. Bye-bye.